let me teach you guys some pours with jigger that will make you look super pro. They're really easy, it doesn't take long to learn them, however to perfect them, to make them look really good and smooth, it will take some time. So basically the smoother you get, the better moves will look. A lot of them actually really similar to the moves you guys do with shakers, however let me tell you that if you work in a bar where you make a lot of handcrafted cocktails, I notice that mixologists tend to use a jigger more often, which is kind of like a feels more natural, so I would recommend to try all of these moves that I will teach you with a jigger. To learn all pours, I would recommend guys as always to practice with plastic bottle, this time please use the metal pour spot and then uh, once you get better and more confident, so you start using just like empty bottle with a metal pour spot and then uh, you pour maybe like a quarter or a half but of course eventually you guys should be able to use full bottle with no problem for all the pours guys you should be able to use all kind of shape of uh, jiggers first one is really easy all you need to do just grab a jigger like this between uh, middle finger and index and you do this movement with your bottle so you kinda will need to do it like this but I would recommend to learn uh, one move at a time to move it like this and 360 so one more time from left it goes around once you start pouring it goes like this and then you start with the bottle so you don't want to do it just like a short move you want to do it a little bit wider like this one and two to make it more presentable guys so uh, again one more time it's like crossing right here one turn into the pour and then you do 360 at the same time, as soon as you start pouring, that's when you turn, cut, and then pour. You do one, two, one, and bring it to the jigger, like this, one, two, three. And now let me show it to you guys with liquid, so jigger upside down, just like this, you take it, one, two, no rush, start pouring, nice cut, bring it back, and then you do the pour. Really easy, but again, this is not just like your regular pour like this, so see the difference? You pour like this, or if you just add a little style, and then this is how it goes. One, two, three. I would recommend not to rush here, because sometimes if you do it quick, like this, so you might actually spill. Just, just, just be very clean, like this, smooth. One, two, three and see the difference guys i could do it like this when bottle goes uh, on top of my hand and also the same way if it goes under the hand so it's up to you but you decide whichever looks good so second option one two and the first one i'm going to show it to you about hand one two three pretty cool so second move is really similar if, if you first move you would have to go this way and, and and that one it comes from you like this one and two in your left hand again the same grip and this is the start position like this let me show it to you so and this is how it's going one two cut I wouldn't recommend to go like this one and two just because you can spill I do realize it looks better pretty quick one two cut and pour. Next pour is actually one of my favorite where you get to hold two objects in one hand so this is the exercise you guys will need to do it's pretty simple again you hold shaker with your pinky and your thumb like this so this finger is ready to go reverse grip so don't take it like this because you wouldn't be able to pour reverse grip and then just try a few times pour and bring it back bring, pour and bring it back and this is how it, it goes you uh, take, take shaker from your bar like this grab jigger so you move bottle one two do pour and then you pour liquid inside a shaker bring it to your left side do pour like this or a regular if it's easier for you bring the bottle back pour into the first shaker and then pour again let me show it to you guys how to do it with liquid again you take it only with two uh, fingers grab jigger I take full bottle you do a swipe so and then you do nice pour at the same time you pour and move and then you move one more time here bring the bottle back and then you pull first here go around and another pour so next one will take actually a little more time to practice but you will absolutely love it you take jigger like this with two uh, fingers uh, with your right hand reverse grip you take bottle 
you do swipe, change the grip, uh, for, for the grab neck, and then you put it like this, connect it, and place it like right in the middle of the bottle, put it on your shoulder here, and then straight hand, you guys gotta do the nice roll. But you see, it's really safe. It shouldn't go this way, or shouldn't go anywhere. It just kinda like a, a roll right in the middle, open hand, and then you grab it like, like this. And then do the pour, cut, and pour here. So one more time, guys, you take jigger with your left hand, regular grip, you can do uh, like this swipe, and then take it around your head, connect it, roll and pour. Or you can do even easier version where you just uh, take it like this. It doesn't look that smooth, but you can like this. So reverse grip, grab a bottle, and then do the same. Pour, cut, and pour. You see the difference though? I don't like stop right here. To make it look more smooth, I move it from my right onto my left. And I think if you do this movement, it will make move much, much smoother. Cut, and pour, and last time show with liquid, full bottle, just like this. So you have uh, your cup or shaker. You can do like this. One, two, connect. Really simple. Cut and pour. All my more experienced bartenders can do like a swipe through, like this. One, two, and then roll. Four, two, three. Next pour, I'm going to tap jigger with my hand, like this. See guys, I'm not even sure if you know this right away. It's not just a regular throw. Um, basically, you take a jigger and then you can do like a little tap. Make sure you don't actually put bottle like this because you're gonna spill. So just a regular grip, little tap, and I prefer to catch it right here so it would be like right ready to pour. And then uh, see, make sure that always you don't wanna like tap it too, too much because uh, you wouldn't have much control. So I always take it like this do a simple um, a tap and then I do the pour. And you also can use like literally any uh, shape of bottles just like this, one, two, and you do the pour. So like a uh, really simple guys, but uh, uh, totally use this and you can just practice of course without bottle with only one jigger and just make sure that you uh, perfectly land in between your fingers like this. So it should be consistent like this little angle, don't hold it too much, like this, one, two. Kind of cool, I really like it, hope you guys will try it too. Next is one of my favorite, it's actually the same, really similar like we use with spoon, but uh, you just need to place jigger like this between your uh, uh, middle finger and your index and you just do spin with your uh, fingers, you kind of support the jigger like this and then you do the pour. So pretty simple, it's just basically you need to spin 360, but you will end up in this really cool position when you do it like this, one, two. So it gives you full control, like, and then you'll be able to pour also like this with a little style, absolutely love it. So one more time guys, see this, uh, re uh, re grip like this, don't hold your fingers like that. One, two, and a pour. Pam, pam, or the shorter version, one, two, and then you do the pour. What? Uh, next is really really easy where you guys will need to do just like a regular roll and then pour. Of course first try to practice with training bottle and what I noticed actually you can use it with any shape of bottle. So like this, even with a square, Quantro, uh, anything. So it's like a really cool roll and then pour. Very last I'll show to you is also probably the hardest out of all of the moves I showed to you just like I did uh, with Shaker before guys remember this move we practiced with you on previous tutorials and then um, there was the pour so this time it will be very similar but we will use uh, Jigger so you hold it in your left hand like this also on the top with your uh, two fingers you grab a bottle you do the same movement around the Jigger one place it on your thumb and then go circle, you take it in with your right hand and then you do the pour back to your left side. So this is, looks kind of cool, again you just um, uh, take jigger like this, one, two, so it definitely not going in, that's why you're gonna help your right hand like this, one, two, cut, pour. Let me show you with liquid and so you take, go around, pour, cut, you guys right-handed actually uh, make sure that uh, for me it's easier to do it 
on the uh, left hand but some of my students could do the same with the right it's just up to you but don't forget this one is more like advanced move you don't want to take a completely full bottle just because if you do moves like this it will get a little dangerous and we don't want to do that so just uh, start slowly all pretty much all the moves you can just practice first with only very little liquid and then uh, with uh, more and then you eventually will be able to do it with completely full bottle so one more time you just go like this from left to right and then start pouring from right to left and thank you so much guys for watching this episode if you liked it please consider subscribing hit the like button like this and i will see you all next week